Well, good afternoon, everybody. Almost afternoon for the West Coast. Definitely afternoon for everybody else. Uh, and Europe and overseas and anywhere else you might be. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. Um, I want to introduce everybody to our survival jackets. These are so nice. They are luxurious. They are authentic. Um, I'm wearing one right now, as you can see. Uh, I will zip it up because it's just so nice. But, um, you know, usually I do these things at night, um, but I wanted to do it right now. Jay, hello. How are you? We are live, so feel free to pop in the chat here. Actually, I can do this now with StreamYard. Boom. Hey, Jay. <laughs> um I want to show you guys the survival jacket. This thing is so cool. Uh, and I have the lights set up here, so it's kind of daylight. So it's a little bit more, well, it, it is a survival jacket. It is designed so that um, you are in, you are completely visible when you're, when you're out in the wilderness. Um, you are not supposed, this is not a camouflage jacket. Um, but uh, also it's warm. It's really warm. And for those of you that have our flight jackets, the historic NASA flight jacket, you know that the lining of that is really just a nylon material. As a matter of fact, the lining of the regular blue flight jacket is the outer material of this jacket. And that is historically correct. How do I know this? Here's a real one. This is a real original land manufacturing survival jacket. This was Walt Cunningham's survival jacket that he was issued. Um, hey, Mauricio, here we'll say hi from Paul or from Brazil. How are you? Good to see you. Um, this is Walt Cunningham's original survival jacket that he wore during Apollo training. Um, it's the real deal, and we match the color exactly. Um, there's a little bit of variation in the screen here. But uh, hey, Dave, uh, but in real life, uh, there is no variation. It's incredibly close. This is just the difference in the sheen of the fabric than the sheen on this fabric. This is a little bit more, uh, the repro is a little bit finer weave than the original, which has kind of a, a, a broader weave to it. But this is, as far as the color goes, it's almost exact. Um, the lining is where I'm really proud. You see this kind of like furry lining? That's exactly what we got right here. It's a little bit puffier and a little bit smoother. Uh, we just wanted a little higher end. Um, it's actually a little bit thicker than the original lining, but it's really smooth. And um, I'm wearing this with a t-shirt. I'm wearing just a polo shirt underneath it. So I'm wearing this. My, my, my arms are bare underneath it. Uh, and it's really comfortable and it's also really warm. I was outside today this morning taking some Halloween decorations down and it's about 40 degrees. I was just wearing this, um, and some pants and shoes and socks. Of course, uh, we do live in a neighborhood. Come on guys. Um, but, uh, it was really, it was really warm and I really like these and I'm so proud of them. Uh, this came together over the course of a few years actually. So we had this jacket, uh, on loan the original jacket on loan for the last uh, year and a half, two years, while we have been sourcing the lining material, um, the the zipper, we had the zipper custom dyed to match, as you see right here, the original, by the way, is exactly the same. Oh, well, it's neat here, by the way, this is, uh, they did not have this ring on the original jacket. Uh, the ring actually uh, is on loan. Part of another project we're working on is kind of top secret, but I'll tell you anyway, we're working on some checklists. And this is a flown ring actually from the command module checklist pages of Apollo 17. Um, this is one of Gene Cernan's checklists. Anyway, so I we just put it on here because it's from the same guy that's loaning us the jacket. Um, and uh, But it doesn't come on the regular jacket. So let me, I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to lose it. But uh, as you can see, the zipper 
the zipper is dyed in color and we matched it exactly right there. And of course, our the pocket design is the same as well. I have a pen in this one right now. Um, black collar cuffs and waistband. Um, and actually, it's something we improved upon in the last several runs of jackets. We had new uh, knits made that we're really, really happy with. Um, as you can see, the original knit here, I mean, maybe you can't see because it's kind of washed out, but the original knit is a, is progressive. It, it changes actually midway um, and it tapers naturally. This is not, this isn't necessarily elastic. There is some elastic in it, but it's also the, just the design of the weave changes as the barrel cuff goes up. Well, that's exactly what we have recreated on ours. These are, these are woven about halfway up the cuff. It changes the weave and it makes the cuff uh, cinch in a little bit more and they're really nice and warm and with, with less, less elastic. So it, so it's mechanically um, doing its job just like the real deal. Anyway, these are on pre-order right now. We're doing the run in the next few weeks. So get your pre-order in now. There's about a $50 discount per jacket. If you do the pre-order, um, then we're looking to stock these, but it, you know this is sort of a winter run. We're doing a couple now. Um, <laughs> they're really nice. I can't tell you how luxurious these are. Luxurious. Man. I can't wait for you guys to get them in your hands. We've already had five or six people sign up for their pre-orders. We're probably going to do 20 to 30 of these or so. So get your pre-order in now just to make sure that you're – size that you get your size uh, once that um, once that list closes we're going to make a couple more of each size but when they run out they run out and then you know you'll have to wait till the next run um, we had a question earlier is there anything in the pockets is there hand warmers in the pockets no these are it's, it's just like the regular pocket it's just the material inside here there's no there's no um, fluffy material <laughs> there's no fur you know the faux fur is not inside the pockets so um actually there's a great picture of alan shepherd training for apollo 14 i think he might have been in iceland or something uh he's training for apollo 14 wearing one of these jackets he's got these big usaf gloves on um so they, they the, the hand warmer pockets are not really hand warmer pockets. They're kind of just windbreaker pockets. And that's correct on the original. The original jacket here does not have hand warmer pockets. Okay. Just regular, just the same material. And again, this is the material. This is the same material as the lining, the, uh, the, the survival lining on the regular blue flight jacket. And the idea with that is you can turn it inside out and wear it. Um, you know, so that so if you're down pilot or something, down astronaut, they can find you from the air. Uh, but it's not particularly warm. Like they're they're really just kind of windbreakers. There's no lining in it, or there's no uh, interfacing between the linings and stuff. It's just two layers of material, and then the knit collar and cuffs. This has about a half inch of faux fur, and it's really quite nice. In any case, everybody, the link is. Uh, can I do a banner? Let's do that. Let's see. Let's create a banner. Uh, uh, Luna replicas.com. Boom. Does this work? <laughs> Luna replicas.com. <laughs> Just learn in StreamYard, folks. It's a neat program. Check it out. Oh, and it does have it does have the waist tab at the bottom, just like a regular Type One jacket. So it's it's very similar to a Type One jacket. They are a little bit puffier than than um, the standard jacket. So we have actually upsized everything just a little bit so that order your regular size. If you have if you have a Lunar Replicas jacket, order the regular size that you have ordered before, and um, everything should work out because you know we have taken into account the extra bulk and. There you go. Everyone, thank you so much. Can't wait for you guys to get these in hand. Uh, they did not have patches on them and stuff, as you saw the original one. They Historically, we haven't seen them with patches. Of course, you can add your own patches. We have patches for sale as well. Meatball 
and um, several other, a few of the mission patches and some other cool patches. John F. Kennedy's presidential patch. Nobody's got one of them. Um, and Mauricio, thank you, Aaron. Hopefully I answered your questions. And um, yeah, we'll do another one of these in the next couple of days. We've got some other cool stuff coming out. Uh, top secret, top secret. Uh, though you can uh, imagine it has to do with the Apollo program, but we would like to come out with a couple of stocking stuffer type things as we usually do and um, have some really cool stuff at a really decent price point for Christmas season, holiday season, whatever season it may be. Just purchase it for yourself season, which is, as you can see, uh, kind of every day here. So, <laughs> everyone have a really great one thanks everyone for tuning in Mauricio, Dave, Bob, Aaron Jay nice to see everybody hope to talk to you soon